Echo, I'm at 1755 Berry Street Southeast. I am a Salem resident. Could you resident, get closer to the mic? Uh, Salem resident and a Salem Human Rights Commissioner, but we've already released our statement, so I'm not speaking in that capacity. I'm speaking as a resident, uh, someone who works in Salem, someone who owns property in Salem. So the Salem Human Rights already released their um, expression of disapproval this, of using the space owned by the Salem Alliance Church. The church has preached against same-sex unions for years, and you can listen to their podcast, Condemning It as a Sin. If condemning same-sex unions was a universal Christian value, all Christians would be saying similar anti-gay things. They don't, because hatred of same-sex unions is not a Christian value. I will always support the freedom of religion, and I will always support freedom of speech. I will never censor someone for expressing their ideas if they are not harming anyone. But the ideas expressed by that church do harm people. The freedom of speech and religion does not protect you from the consequences of that speech. And one of those consequences for this church should be not getting a million dollars of city funds. <clears throat> the church has tried to claim they have no issue with the LGBTQIA people, yet members of that community have left the church and cannot be employed at the church-owned coffee shop. They cannot claim they are the city cannot claim they are inclusive and supportive of the LGBTQIA community while funding a church that preaches hate against that community. Why does the city, the commission, and the library staff, and those in charge of diversity and inclusion for the city think that this is a good idea? How can they say that they care about the people that the library helps most when they're going to put it in a space that will be inaccessible to them? I understand that the library has a need to stay open for people who are at risk of homelessness or experiencing homelessness. I'd like to remind you that 40% of homeless youth are LGBTQIA youth who have been kicked out by their families. And where do they get those ideas that it is acceptable to disown your child for being themselves? From places like Salem Alliance Church. How can people go to this library, get the services they need, get the life-saving support that they need if it's housed in a place that hates them? I'd like to remind everyone that you have a chance to make an important decision about what the library does and doesn't support. I hope that the they will make the right choice and find an alternative to the Sam Alliance Church property. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you.